Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Look Like Plays. We're continuing our run through of LaGrange Point, and I completely forgot where I'm going. Oh yeah, back to the satellite base. <laughs> Doi. Okay, so, on the last episode, we went into a little side area called the Isis Hotel. We found a bunch of missiles, and uh, I didn't really gain too many levels, but I like to think that I prepped myself to gain a new level pretty soon. Uh, there were a lot of fights, as I was. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm heading over to the kind of lounge area where all my other characters are, and I'm going to apply some robot parts to our robot to see if, well, they make them any better. Did I go the wrong way? The good thing about this place is it loops around. pretend to know where these things are sometimes. <laughs> Let's be totally honest with ourselves here. Uh, I guess it's upstairs. Like I said, it has been a uh, little while since my last session, so I am very rusty when it comes to where things are. There it is. I knew that all along. I promise. Right, so we're gonna send Astro back. He can take a sleep for a second. And uh, I'm gonna call in our buddy Tick. Call up somebody else. No. Let's get out. Long live the resistance. Yes. Indeed. Alright. So if I look at him. He has a. Uh, Robosonic. Whatever the heck that means. I don't even think it has a... Yeah, it doesn't even have a... No ranking or anything, so... Let's just use... Hopefully it'll be better than... Mechsonic 100. Hopefully that was better. Not as good as what I have already on other characters, but... I guess I'll look at it later. Send him back. Let's call up Astro. You may be wondering why I'm actually doing that if uh, I'm not actually going to use the damn character. Uh, kind of, you know, so if something happens, like I get to a certain point of the game and I went the wrong way again, like if I, uh, if I get to a certain point of the game where it says, like, you know, you, you do so much better if you use a robot here, we'll have a robot and I didn't put the items to waste. I don't have to spend an, in between an episode getting the 30 whatever grand that will cost me to purchase another one of them stupid things. Because I legitimately, I know it doesn't happen much in old games like that, where suddenly you'll be thrust into a point where you have to use a character. Nintendo was pretty good about that, mainly because Nintendo a lot of times didn't have kind of preset characters. You kind of created your own characters a lot of times. And you be, you know, you have them. That's your team for your entire game. Uh, Dragon Quest comes to mind, but uh, and then characters that it knows that you're not going to keep for the longest time, like they're just temporary characters. They will like legitimately kind of only like probably not let you equip them. Like, they have their own set of gear, but uh, I think as you go. You know, from Nintendo to Super Nintendo to PlayStation to, you know, PS2 era RPGs. Like, as you, the time goes on, you, it starts to do that kind of stuff more often. 
where there'll be points in a game where, like, say you're using you use the same three characters all the time. Final, like, Final Fantasy VIII and IX kind of come to mind when I talk about this. Uh, you're using the same three characters over and over, like most of the game. Like, they're, they're, those are your characters. Those are the characters you love to use. They're, you like them the most. The other characters just are kind of, they sit in the airship. That's what, they, that's what they're for. You know, like, who uses Kate Sith? You know, I mean, the slot, I guess, well, that game you could kind of use anybody, but, you know, games where, you know, say Chrono Cross. Imagine if Chrono Cross did that, with its 50-something odd characters. You know, suddenly out of nowhere you had to use a certain three. Chances are, the three they decide that they want to bring with you are not the ones you've been building up. Um, Chrono Cross is a bad example because the leveling system is everybody. It's like a group effort. Like, the group levels up, not the characters themselves, but... Uh, like, say... Honestly, Final Fantasy VIII. I'll use that as the, as the example. You know, I always used, you know, Squall and um, Urban and Quistus. Those were my three. And suddenly, out of nowhere, it says, like, you need to use Zell, and you need to use Renoa, and you need to use uh, Selby. And they're just not ready. Now, granted, levels do not really matter in that game. Kind of the stronger, the more higher your levels, the more the worse off you are sometimes. But uh, you wouldn't have the junctions set up correctly, or you know, chances are your the guardian forces you used aren't as good as the ones you have, or something, you know. And then suddenly you're just in a bad spot, and now you have to level up those characters to catch up with the ones you formerly have. So, because of that, because of that all that whole kind of trend that RPGs likes to take sometimes, I do try and prep my other characters just in case. Especially if I don't know what's coming. Um, Breath of Fire 2 is also kind of an example. Like, we're, we haven't hit that part yet in that game, but chances are we're going too soon. Uh, there's a point where you have to use Sten, and Sten alone. And if you didn't build him up, congratulations, you broke your game. And you can't leave the area that you're in. So you're stuck with Sten alone. So if you didn't use him at all, if you didn't level him up, you're screwed. <laughs> so, long rant short, that is why I uh, kind of not level everybody up, but kind of prep everybody. <coughs> the iron unit came and looted our stores. Oh, right. It's these guys again. Long story short, don't deal with Captain Wolf. Okay? I'll remember. Give me my money. This is, uh, the money for the ISIS Hotel excursion, and, uh, getting here. save it to. <laughs> Hold reset while you turn the power off. Some of you may not know that era. That is Nintendo era that you had to do that. Corn disc was stolen. I won't forget this Dan. Damn you, Dan. Yes. It's super mad. Captain Wolf has been real upset. Steam is literally coming out of his head. Captain will blow a fuse. You look unique. No, I guess not. <laughs> not unique at all. The disc was stolen. I don't know who this General Dan is. Well, I remember him from previous areas, but... What a jerk. ceramic stuff. Nothing really stupendous yet. I'm Tessic. 
Lost Mutants showed up, so I told Wolf. He flipped a biscuit and I hit here. Biscuit. Oh, dude. I saw General Dan in Orange Area. He's on the other side of the swamp. It's the Orange Area's port. Need a hover plane to get there, though. Wait, what? It's Orange Area? It's on the other side of the swamp, west of Orange Area's port. Need a hover plane. I got a hover plane. So... Maybe that's where Iron City is? Hmm. I have no idea. You know my son, Kazu? Can you please take this charm to him for me? And Kazu's charm. Right now. You're Jean. Lie down to look at you. Alright. Here we go. Where am I going? They call me the tech nurse. I learned a new skill. Letter of introduction. Neat. So what skill did I get? Super slam? Hey. Out of the way. <laughs> Mommy loves you, dear. Alright, so... Oh, so this must be the general, who's super angry. Alright, so... We have two things we can do. Find General Dan. Again. <laughs> and, uh... Deliver that letter. So why don't we deliver that letter? That is, uh... That was in the potato area, wasn't it? Which is a silly thing to say, I understand. So I'm just going to follow this mountain back down, and head back to the ship. Travel to the other area. I feel like this is going to be another one of those, uh, back and forth. Or as I like to call them, mailman missions. A lot of RPGs kind of do that sometimes, where it's like, travel to Town B and hand them this letter. You go to Town B, hand them the letter. Why, thank you. Thank you for this letter. You hand them this reply back to Town A. You go back to Town A. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I have this item that they were talking about in the letter. You go back to Town B and hand this become my delivery man and hand this over, then you do. And we did it in Breath of Fire 1, actually. It was a whole thing with the uh, the Iron Claw. It was travel between two old people and talk about a weapon. Sometimes RPGs like to do that. MMOs do that sometimes. Um, Final Fantasy XI did that. I don't know if anybody's has ever played that MMO back in the day. I know 14 is kind of the big thing. Um, both, well, I was going to say both now and about a year ago, but it really wasn't. Um, I played a little bit of it. I didn't really get that far. I kind of, the MMOs, like, I've spent enough time on MMOs, like, playing World of Warcraft and stuff, but the MMOs have not done it for me since. But MMOs kind of do that sometimes, too, where they just go... You know, you deliver this letter to you across the world, and you have to... The difference, though, is in MMOs, you actually need to go there, and sometimes it takes time. Like, back to my example of Final Fantasy XI, like, it'd be like... Two of the main towns are separated by, like, a boat. And you'd have to walk all the way through a few monster-ridden areas to get to the boat. And then get on the boat and wait until the boat crosses the, the river, like it was on a schedule. So you'd have to stand there and wait for it, and then you get there and you, you know, you get on the boat, go across, and then you get to the other town, and then it goes, well, thank you for this letter. Here's my reply, go back. So, and then you have to wait for the boat again. It was 
very... It's a very hurry up and wait game. That game kind of burned me out pretty damn fast. Alright, so we need to go to the potato... potato area. And, uh, now we're out of time, but I'll make this quick. At least these, uh, towers all look the same. Kazu's lookout is south. <laughs> I am Guide Robo. I am awesome. I believe it's this person I need to talk to. What? His mother entrusts you with a charm? This is a sound pulser. Use Kazu's charm now. Cool. What does it do? Those enemies with ultrasonic waves. Last one, use. No. Maybe later. Alright, so I think I need to head back to uh, that town again and maybe pick up another one. Head back to his mom. Tell her, hey, your, your son is dead. <laughs> so we'll do that on the next episode. And then we have to head to, uh, I believe, Orange Camp. I believe we're due there. So. Anyway, hope you join me for that. Uh, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.